Hey, Greg. Hey, what? Do you know this is one of my favorite times of the year? It is? The fall. Yeah? You know what the fall means? What? Fall means football. Oh, yes. Football, hunting, and beer. Mm Mm-hmm. If you want fun and entertaining beer information, you've come to the right place. It's another Beer Guys TV Brewcast. Well, welcome to this Beer Guys TV Brewcast. And yes, fall is one of my favorite times, too. It's cooling off a little bit. you got the Christmas in the air. you got leaves starting to, just starting to turn. Mm-hmm. And uh, and like you said, football. And um, yeah, it's, uh, there's some uh, end of the season for other sports. And yeah, a lot of fun stuff going on. And... Oktoberfest and the beginning of of all the fall beers and stuff, too. Right. Looking forward to some (laughs) of those. (laughs) But we've got quite a plethora of beers here. We do. I thought it would be fun to do a brewcast on Oktoberfest. Sure. Uh, The beers that we have in in America, but also some German beers. Nobody does it better than the Germans with the Oktoberfest. Exactly. And, you know, we've tried different Oktoberfests over the years, and um, one one that we're going to do this time, which I haven't had, is the Sam Adams. Oh, you have not? I, okay. Yeah. But I hear Sam Adams is like one to really look up to. Sure. Yeah. As far as American, uh, for large breweries, um, I, a lot of good feedback on Sam Adams. And Shiner, of course, is also a bigger brewery. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so we'll just give that one a try, too. I don't know much of anything about that one. So okay. I know, I know just about everybody nowadays seems to have an Oktoberfest, even all the small <laughs> local breweries. And you can't try them all, so you pick a couple of national brands and then a, a couple of German beers here. Yeah, and these are German national brands, so, Pauliner. Yeah, yeah that, Pauliner. That's they, well known. They, yeah, they've been around for a long time. Yep. And you can get them anywhere in the States. And then, of course, Hacker Shore. Sure. That's another... Uh, another one. So my uh, my, my brother, beer guy Chad, Chad, yes, yeah. Oh, so, that's nice. Yeah, I what, thought what it'd be guy. kind of fun to to try this. Thanks, and Chad. Compare the four different Oktoberfest beers. There's a style that stands out to you. Mm-hmm. Now, in general, you're not a big Marzen uh, person. In gen- no, in not general. in general. No, um, but I've I've had some Oktoberfests that I like. Sure. Yeah. Um, one of them being shells. Oh yeah, shells. Are shells are new one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and uh, and to to uh, christen the occasion, <laughs> my Duluth Trading Company beer shirt. Sure. You got some some neat like, swag on. I there. know it's yeah. like the beer guys. It's like they're reading our minds. Hey, they took our logo. <laughs> well, yeah. Just about. I mean, oh, look at yeah. that. And then another cool thing is this this pocket here. Are you gonna put a kangaroo in? Well, there? you can. Uh, well, it's like a, it's the beer kangaroo pocket. Oh, you can put like. Your wow! There, so right? when it's still a bit cold out, you got your hands in the in yeah. The, you get your hands are you know nice and toasty while your beer is out here oh, still. Oh man, that's pretty slick. Yeah, just handy and you know, yeah. or let's yeah. say you need both hands, you're wrenching on something, or I don't know, you're opening a beer for somebody else. Right? Yeah. And then um, you got your pocket beer yeah, pocket that's right there. A slick deal right there. Duluth Trading makes those, huh? Yeah, I like their trading. stuff. That's some, yeah, it's, it's heavy duty. I mean, that stuff doesn't fall apart. Well, and yeah. you need a sweatshirt in the fall, you know. Oh, right. And you know what better way to don us with beer some, guys than having some beer, beer guys might have to steal that idea or yeah. something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how and then my yeah, my fall it. hunting hat. Oh, is that your hunting hat? Yeah, it's it's kind of a German style ish kind of a yeah. It kind of sort know. of sort of fits. We'll go sort with of fits. it. You got, yeah. So oh, you got it all going on, man. <laughs> hey, and beer. And so, beer. I'm sure people are tuned in for the beer part. So That's right. Let's, what do you say we get to them? Let's get to the beer. Should I crack some open? Yeah, go ahead. I'll, I'll, just, I'll, I'll open these two. I'll let you yep. open those two, and then I'll begin the pouring down on good. my side, and then we'll switch. We'll do some swapping around. Swap through there. Use our old, uh, that, that's a handy that tool. Well, been around for a yeah, while. We've had it for a while. It's, it's opened many a brew. Yes, many years. So let's see. i got to make sure I get them non-confused. And so I got those. Um, let's see, how do I do this? So I don't confuse them because that'll be the easy thing to do here. And I'll put the, I'll put the, for me the two American. Oh, they're much lighter looking. Look at these. Well, over, over right. golden. Now is this the? This is the polliner, right? Yep, the polliner. Polliner. No, um, I see. Oh, I see what you're doing. I was pouring. Uh, I'm going to pour these and hand you two. Okay. Yep. You pour those, hand me two. Okay. Don't do that. See, I've got. Oh, oh. See, see. Okay. Like that. I see. And then which one? Did that, you that's pour? A, that's a Sam's. This and is a Sam's? That's the sh- uh, Shiner. 
Shannon, okay. So here, let's. Boy, that was uh, off the pollen here. So. Okay, so we'll, we'll do this. Okay. We're all confused here, folks. <laughs> hey, we're new at this. What do you want? <laughs> 14 years of pouring beer and drinking beer and so it's smart. All right. So, okay. So and then I'll do a Sam's. See, he's got a system. That's why he's the producer, folks. Shane yeah. Zeppelin, producer I've, extraordinary. But the communication was a little lacking on my part here. Well, so. we, we kind of just dove into this because of that. <laughs> you know, let's just jump in and do us an Oktoberfest special of uh, yeah. Brewcast, and uh, here we are. Okay. Okay, so now I know those are, these are, these are what they are. And yeah, then, maybe we'll set these aside. For and um, what do I got here? That is the uh, Hacker Shore. Hacker Shore, and that is the Polliner. Right. Got it. So got it. Um so right to left, right to left, right to left, right to left. Got it. Should be good. Very good. All right. Well, where do you want to start there, Shane? In well, America or Germany? Well, I guess uh, <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter, but um maybe go from from we'll just do one of these clockwise things. Okay. Very good. So Hey, we got an audience. We will uh, uh so the polliner, that's this one. Nice. It's a it's a white one. Yeah. All right. So let's try that. Okay. So we're trying the polliner, and that's the light one. Just again, like you said. Ooh, that's got a nice aroma. Yeah, that is a pretty pretty solid, nice nice uh, nice body to it. Yeah. Really nice. Hmm. Yeah, it's um, it's got a nice multi multi. Yeah, it's got definitely got the multi. Malt, malt, multi. Malt. It's very multi in the mouth. But oh. that's what I mean. Marzins are or the October. Yeah, they're they're going to be October. They're going to be October fest forward. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm a beer guy. Uh, yeah, they're going to be malt forward. Yes. Hmm. No. Okay. Uh, all right. So you want to stay in Germany? So then, we'll or, or yeah, gonna... let's stay in Germany. Okay. So now we're going to to the uh, uh, what you call it? the uh, oh the Hacker Shore. Hacker Shore. Yeah, the Hacker Shore. Hacker Shore. Sure, we are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. That's a little bit thinner. Uh. N not as much edge to it. I mean, it's um, I'm... but roastier. Hmm. I guess that would be a good way to say it. a little bit roastier. Oh, roastier. Yeah. Well, well both, both are pleasant. All right. We'll go to the Shiner. Yep. Well, out of Texas, uh, good old Shiner Shiner Brewing. And uh, this one comes in at 5.7 on the uh, ABV on this one, 5.7. Shiner. A lot of people know it for Shiner Bach. That's their yeah, big, that's kind of their big beer. Mm -hmm. They've come out with a lot of weird specialty ones over the years. They do a good job on their beers. Yeah, in general, I, you know, they're, they're, they brew for the masses, you know. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's got a very similar aroma as the other two. Hmm. Well, thinner, I think. They're getting thinner as they go, actually. It, it seems that way, doesn't it? And yeah. I'm going to say maybe a tad sweeter. Yeah, I would give you the, 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 the sweetness on that one. Um, Interesting. They're all very similar, but yet... They got their own nuances. Yeah, and a, a bit of a bitter yeah, aftertaste. After I was just thinking that. I got kind of getting a kind of lingering. These didn't have that. Right. Yeah. So, all right, off to Sam Adams. 5.3% on the ABV on this one. 5.3 and only a 18 uh, IBUs. So, oh, yeah. and you, you, don't, you don't get a lot of IBUs in any of these. There's just enough hop in there to balance out a little yes, bit. Yes, exactly. I don't know if these say what they are. Oh yeah, we'll we'll go through, we'll run through the uh, ABV here in a, in a minute. Now the Sam. Oh is, boy, yeah, well, I'm spilling beer in my beer. Oh, you got beer in your beer. Um, 
a little smoother, I think. I don't get that uh, that leftover bitterness, or 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 as much oh. sweetness. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. I mean, there's a there's a tad of sweetness, and that could be left over from, you know, when you're we're doing all four like this without cleansing the old palate. And some of us you're going to get a little, little blurring of, of exactly the lines. We're trying to kind of, in the, in the interest of time, we're trying to keep keep it going. Um, interesting, uh, yeah. Hmm. Huh. Well, I'm going to revisit Polliner. All right, so let's see what we have for uh, Polliner. It is a 6% ABV. Um, <clears throat> again, you know, like you say, the hops are just... Yeah, negligible. Uh, yeah. You know, it's not like you're getting into an IPA or a pale ale or something like that. Mm -hmm. Hacker Shore is 5.8. Okay. So that's, you know... Then you had the 5.3 the or, uh, yeah, 5.3 and the 5.7. Yeah, so I mean, they're all... So, yeah. They're very Between session, five and a half and six. Yeah. So that's... Yeah, and... and a lot of places around here have the Sam Adams on tap, and that's, of course, tap. You can't beat that. You know, those are always pretty good. Mm -hmm. But we've been, you know, in Carol and I have been out. We've been trying a lot of, I have anyway, trying the Oktoberfests at a lot of the breweries. And uh, some are like, okay, you know, and, and, uh, and but some of them, like, I'm impressed. Very yeah. good. So, uh, yeah, some of the uh, local brews, uh, the small breweries. Mm -hmm. Um, they're making Oktoberfests as well, and <clears throat> some of them are, are hits, and some yeah. of them are misses. I guess we our advice to you is get a sample, if nothing else, to try them. I mean, yeah. it's that time of year when you get a chance to try something. A lot of the breweries will, will tweak them each year. They might be slightly different as they adjust their recipes mm -hmm. and stuff and, and uh, all that. But uh, do you have I, some? You have a little info on Oktoberfest? Well, I got I got just a few facts on Oktoberfest itself, right? Sure. So it originally originated in Munich, Germany. In 1810. 1810. Well, it's mm -hmm. been around a while. It was a celebration of a Bavarian crown prince's, Prince Ludwig's marriage. That's right. To Princess Therese von Schazen Hildebergenhausen. <laughs> I don't know if I said that. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long name. Yeah, it is. Good thing you're German. So you'd think. Yeah. You'd yeah. think I would know any German, right? Yeah. All yeah. the German I had learned was from. from uh, the Stalag 13. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hogan. Hogan. Yep, Hogan's yeah. Heroes. So yeah. Strudel. That was yeah, yeah. the Strudel. Yeah. Strudel. Although, my wife makes great German food. Red mm. cabbage and mm. spetzel and, oh. yeah, the whole nine yards. Mm. Very good stuff. So I do like German food. A little bit about Oktoberfest beer. Um the, the main ingredient is grain, so so sure. they use uh, usually Munich and, and Vienna malts, mm -hmm. and I suppose different breweries roast them differently, obviously. Sure. Some will use a Pilsner malt, which maybe this is. That's maybe why it's because it's a little more clarity to it. Yeah. Yep, a little lighter. Um, noble hops, traditional German noble hops like Kalato or Tetnagen, Tetnang, Tetnang? Sure. I think that's how it's <laughs> pronounced. Uh, but anyway, that's... Typically used, and then a lager yeast, of mm. course. Oh, for, uh, this. right, yeah. yeah so, there. I mean, that's just a couple things on. Yeah, a couple of interesting facts about yeah. Oktoberfest, and of course, Munich has the big Oktoberfest. People always talk about it—the huge crowds and all the things that go with it. It's kind of a quite quite the a mob. It sounds like some people say it's a must-have, a must a must event to, to go to at some point, but some say it's gotten a little wild and, and like maybe. You know, as the years click by, maybe it's, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, go as a, go as a group, maybe it'd be fun. I'm sure it'd be fun, a fun experience, but, you know, they, they always serve them in those big glass, uh, you know, steins. I don't know how many of those you could put away anymore. <laughs> a boot. Uh, that's Holy boot. cow. Yeah. 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 So, so let's talk a little bit about this. Uh, maybe we'll pick our favorite. Okay. Um, all of them to me are triads, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm going to choose a favorite out, out of what I, okay. I like. But um, I am going to mention that this one here is very Pilsner-esque mm -hmm. to me. After reading that and then mentioning it, um, it's uh, a stronger taste mm -hmm. than Pilsner. It maybe has that um, orange pithiness. A, like, little, a little bit. I yeah, guess. so yeah. you get like the, the white underneath of an orange peel. Mm-hmm. 
um, kind of that bitterness that kind of lingers a little bit. But it's a little bit more pilsnerish than uh, the other ones. The sure. other ones are more roasty. Yep, yep. You got a little more of the, the malt comes comes uh, forward a little bit more in those. Mm -hmm. Anything stand out to you on any of them? Um, I, I I do like both both of the German ones. I, I'm not real crazy about the Shiner one personally, mm -hmm. and that's that's just me. So you might really like it. I I don't really care for this one too much. Uh, so for me, it would probably be a, a skip. But if if it was because there's so many options, yeah. Uh, but if there was none other, then maybe I'd try it. Uh, the Sam Adams to me is 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 is, is pretty good. I, I, I it's well balanced, nice nice uh, flavor, good mouthfeel. And uh, at five three, it's pretty sessionable. Mm -hmm. You know, I guess. Uh, yeah. Did you have a favorite yet? I, I'm leaning. I'm kind of stuck between the uh, the Sam Adams and the uh, uh, well, uh, Hacker Shore. Hacker Shore, yeah. And and the Hacker Shore um, hmm. says since 1417 wow. through today, Hacker Shore is considered the special beer for heavenly day to day moments. Heavenly day to day so, moments. Hmm. <laughs> I don't that. have any heavenly day to day moments. Wow. I sorry to interrupt. The no. Shinerbach, Shinerbach, I'm no, sorry, yeah, Shiner I saw, Yeah, it's easy to do, yeah. Um, yeah, that it has kind of that a lingering taste that's... Right, yeah. Uh, it, it, I don't know if it's pleasant. It's not unpleasant, but it's just an off flavor. Yeah, me. That's, and it kind of hangs around. And it hangs around, so it, maybe it does skew it might be, yeah, Sam Adams. It? I don't have to... Yeah. Rinse my mouth out with Sam Adams, eh? There you go. <laughs> and you rinse your mouth out with <laughs> Sam Adams, young man. <laughs> uh, so now we get a, maybe a better taste. It's funny because if I wait for a while, then I try and then I get my opinion kind of keeps floating around here because now I, I kind of the, the pollen air seems pretty tasty too. So I guess if I had to pick. One American beer and one German beer. It would be Sam Adams and Polliner, and of the two, oh. I know I changed kind of. I kind of okay. moved over after I tasted that. And uh, between these two, boy, it's a, it, they got two different styles there. So it's 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 not. You don't feel like it's really apples to apples, so sure. to speak. But um, I think I would lean towards the Sam Adams. Okay, yeah. Well, I have um, narrowed it down to two as well, Sam Adams and Hacker Shore. Uh huh. And um, it's it's a close neck and neck, right? It is, yeah. Hmm. Who's it going to be, folks? I Who's know. it going to be? A little sweetness. Yeah. What would you call them? <laughs> <laughs> Just more, I don't know. Hacker Shore to me is more pure beer. Yeah, and, and I can get that. I, I get that. Uh, the beer purist would, mm -hmm. would probably go for that. So uh, for me, my favorite is the Hacker Shore. Hacker Shore? Okay. Yep. So to me, German Germany wins. Close second is the Sam Adams. Okay. Uh, and a very close third is the Polliner. Yeah, and a very close third is uh, the Hacker Shore for yep. me. And, but, and a, kind of a distant, a distant fourth for yeah, me is the Shiner. Yeah, distant fourth, fourth is, the, is the Shiner. Um, it's not, it's not horrible. No, no, it just, uh, it's just, of there's the, better options. Yeah. These three really outshine. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, you couldn't stuck. resist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's that new outfit you got going on here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> see, there, it's even the beers to you right here. Hey. I can see it. I can see it. Well, speaking of which. Yeah. We should probably wrap this up. All right. That is our Oktoberfest uh, brewcast. And, uh, Hey, if you try some brewcast or brewcast. If you try some Oktoberfest that you think, hey, you guys should check this one out, let us know. Drop us a line at BeerGuysTV at gmail.com or post it on the uh, Facebook page or Twitter or Instagram, whatever the case may be. Let us know because we're always yeah. open to trying something new, too. So. And, and people can try, try some brewcasts as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> While you're drinking Oktoberfest. Exactly. Right there, that's a great idea, that's, isn't it? That's the way to do it. I want to grab my favorite against got, your favorite. Yep. And, uh, that's going to wrap it up with this Oktoberfest uh, brewcast. For Shane Zeppelin, I'm Greg Johnson. And until next time, cheers to you. Ya.
I suppose we should throw something German in. Yeah, a well, schnitzel. A schnitzel. Yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. 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 An apple cream. Apple cream. Beer Guys TV reminds you to drink responsibly. Our reviews are honest opinions. Your opinion and taste may vary. We encourage you to try beers and products for yourself and form your own opinions. Remember to check out Beer Guys TV on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. We'd love to hear from you. Tell us what beer you like and send us your suggestions for us to review. You can contact us at BeerGuysTV at gmail.com. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That, and that's why I thought this would be kind of a fun brewcast because we're not having a whole lot of, of it. Yeah. But you get those nuances of flavors between the four of them. Yeah. And then you can really tell, well, especially a, the German ones, mm -hmm. which are more, I guess, that's where it originated. Mm -hmm. And, and like pitted against the American ones. And the Sam Adams is, aren't they the oldest brewery? Or one of the oldest breweries in the U.S. One of them, yeah, yeah. I don't um, know. Yingling is the oldest. Yingling is the oldest, okay. Yeah. And then, of course, yeah. Sam Sam Adams, yeah. and then Shells. Yeah. So, but yeah, they and they're going to make their their beer as pure as a Oktoberfest can be as well. Sure. People, I think some breweries do their own take on them, yeah. which is fun. Yeah. But at the same time, Sometimes it's, it's not yeah. like for the purest. Yeah. Yeah, you want to keep it. Malty, yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Just beverage so, and so, be, 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 <laughs> beverage. <laughs> very, it's very beverage, it's very beverage. Mm, what I like it, that's a yeah, you coined a new phrase, <laughs> beverage. I'm always coining phrases, yeah, he's phrases. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of like Homer Simpson, you look like my own words. Don't, <laughs> don't, Ooh.